Okay, so our virtual studio is really up and running. We got some awesome stuff going on. Uh, next up, I want to show you how to achieve, uh, how to customize this a little bit further by creating your own camera shots. So when you begin play, you can press the Q button for this kind of intro animation that stops at the end. You can press W for this looping animation that just sort of pans around here. You can press E for a central kind of zoom in, zoom out. This one again just loops. We can press R for this this shot that just demonstrates a bit of a focus pull, which is not 100% working at the moment. There's a little bit of artifacting around this screen, and you can see the screen stays in focus, but it's something we can work on. It just shows you that foreground elements can go out of focus. So maybe you want to add your own animation, so let's show you how to do that now. So all of our animations are handled in uh, one of these blueprints. We've got a row of blueprints here. If we click this first one in the row, you can see we have a list of sequences that are set up. Again, we want to make sure we're in this persistent level. So make sure that's double clicked and it's blue. We know we're in that level. Here's where we're dealing with all of our blueprints and functionality. So again, clicking on this blueprint, if we go to the details panel, you can see we've got an array of four sequences. So at the moment, this blueprint is set up to deal with four sequences, but maybe we can show you later on how to add more. But let's just let's just create a new level sequence. I'm going to put it in my folder. Go okay, cinematics level sequence, and let's call this left mid shot uh, with the prefix ls underscore. Let's double click this one, and we can track some stuff. Let's track the camera. Click the camera, press track, actor to sequence, cinecam. And I tend to just do this freeform, so we can go from here and just hit transform. We might want to make this sequence a bit longer. Let's make it about twice as long. Make sure we drag the shot as well as this playhead. And I want this to loop, so I'm going to copy that keyframe, control V to paste it there. And you know, in the meantime, we can change any any camera parameters. But I'm just going to zoom out a smidge let just place that there and you know now we've got a slow looping animation which is cool and we can see that's reflected in the composure comp now which is great so if we navigate back to that level sequence have that here if we go to our animation selector blueprint we can put this in any of these four slots let's put it here that'll be the r key to trigger index number three and when we press play press R, we've now got our new sequence. So as simple as that, to add more animations, uh, I can show you how we hook up another, uh, an extra animation if you want more than more than four. Let's go into that now. So to add an add another animation, we have to we have to go into the blueprint a little more. Uh, go select it here, then go edit in blueprint. And here's our functionality for each of our button pushes. Here's where we find the thing that's stopping this first in intro sequence from looping. It's in these settings here. If we hook up this settings loop to loop indefinitely, or we can, to make our first level sequence loop, we can just hook this up, because that is now going to make that loop indefinitely. But I'm going to keep that first sequence as a one-off. So to make a new, make a new one, we can just copy all of this functionality paste it down here and we need to make a new custom event I'm going to call this sequence 5 and we need to change this array element here to be number 4 uh, and that's all we need to do now we can create another array element put the left shot there and the oh yeah this is right not left really isn't it okay so now we've got a left shot and a right shot now in our level blueprint this is where I'm going to be triggering animations, so animation select, and we can quite simply right click and go T key. I tend to just search Q key so I can find this key press, but you want to change this to T, and now we want to grab this animation selector blueprint reference, and off of this we can go sequence, sequence 5. Uh, so I should change this to sequence 4, I've got the number wrong there, 4, and in the level sequence, that's changed already. So when that's pressed now, 
we've now got a new sequence triggering. So now we should be able to pick between four sequences. We got number one, number two, number three, number four. Oh, we do have a number five. <laughs> that is because we've got intro sequence as well. So we've got intro sequence and then one, two, three, four. But yeah, that's how you add an extra sequence to your list and it just keeps things a bit neater and tidier when you're dealing with the comp and the level kind of setup. So we've also got a very similar thing for uh, level changing. So as well as sequence switching, you can do level switching and that's on the one key, the two key, three key, four key, that's on these keys. Uh, so I'll show you how you can switch levels as well on a button push. So we'll get into that in the next one. Cheers.